Where dresses? What is the juiciest gossip you have overheard from a customer? I was a customer. My hairdresser, a lesbian, told me that her girlfriend had had a breast removal and she could no longer be intimate with her because it was like having sex with a slug. She hadn't been this open with me before. Guess she just needed to vent. I don't get it. A slug? Was the GF slimy post-op? Was she lethargic post-op? I confused. 17 comments 3 address the post xd as a customer I listened to one barber shit talk one that wasn't there Then admits to being the one who banged his ex in some video that the xbf barber saw I missed a lot of the early convo The only other barber in the shop was laughing and saying he knew it and how much he disliked that guy too I hear you f bastard we all look to see a guy Obviously the one being shit talked about Leaning out from a back room below an exit sign I heard it all F both of you and your children Back here listening to your BS the whole time he stormed out and it was awkward the rest of the time. About 60-90 minutes later I drove by on my way home from errands and saw cops with lights on in front. I never found out why but I assume and hope it was a barber brawl. A barber brawl is a very special kind of brawl. The potential for sharp instruments and clipper attacks make it fun. I wasn't the hairdresser but one of the customers, so I was waiting for my turn and the hairdresser is attending this old lady who is telling her the story of her life. I wasn't listening too closely but suddenly I hear something along the lines of yeah, he chased her on her with the maid of honor's brother two days before the wedding, and his brain found out in the reception. It was a shit show. The police came because apparently she stabbed him with a spoon I never knew you could stab someone's with a spoon. You learn something new every day. I didn't hear it at the salon I read it on the review and I'm the customer not the hairdresser. I read a review about my hairdresser online saying that she refused to do any form of hair dye she wanted because it wouldn't suit her. I had this same issue I asked her if she could do a full color for me and she gave me the book of hair colors. I picked a bright purple, she said no. I picked a lightish blonde color she said no again. I said dark blue and she showed me the other ones they had and well cup it happened and never got it done. She told me the color would not come out on my hair at all. Worst part about it all is that she's the manager and senior stylist. Hairdresser here. I've heard so many stories. People truly tell their personal business to their hairdressers as if we're therapists. Had a client, sweet middle-aged woman. She brought up Scientology. Having heard and watched that show about it I went in about it. Oh they're absolutely crazy. Blah blah blah. And, she blurts out that her son is a Scientologist. I wanted to sink into the floor, then had to backtrack and, agree about all of these nice things that they do and how. Yeah, you're right. Definitely not a cult. Yikes. Client here. My grandma and I had the same hairdresser when I was a teen. Anyway this hairdresser had a friend that was a kindergarten teacher at a private school I was attending at the time and one summer that teacher left and no student knew why. The hairdresser told my grandma during an appointment that the teacher was fired because she was sleeping with a 16 year old boy who was a classmate of mine. The school was a Christian school that was associated with a church so they never filed a report because they didn't want negative publicity to impact the school and church. As for the 16 year old, well after that he became extremely religious, then got into drugs, and ended up in an abusive controlling relationship. He wasn't the abuser, the ex-teacher. All I knew was that she got a divorce and moved several hours away and moved to her parents house. It's disgusting that female abusers pedophiles aren't taken as seriously as male ones. Look up how the president of France met his wife Colin. A customer here. A hairdresser once told me that he left home after his brother caught him with his, the brother's, wife. He hasn't been home since and it has been 4 years. This new city is his home now. Just wondering if all his conversations with clients end up this evocative. I definitely wanna hear more. He'd have me booking a trim with him for sure.